Hi, I'm Paul Zamet of the Toronto Botanical Garden and I'd like to welcome you to Canada Blooms. This is a very significant show that brings together gardeners from all across Ontario, Canada and even in the US we get visitors. This year our focus of the Toronto Botanical Garden is to really connect people to the garden and so that they can realize the power of their gardens. We have our discovery cart this year which really focuses on the choices you make of plants that you put in your garden. Of course we love pollinators but we want you to think even beyond that. What about things like birds? What do birds need? Birds need caterpillars, so what about planting plant material that the caterpillars would feed on and then the birds can feed on the caterpillars. You get the idea. It's really about choices that you make. And an excellent example of one of my favorite plants, uh, a beautiful native, are service berries. What's great about service berries is they're beautiful all throughout the year. I love the way they look in the winter. I love the beautiful chains of white flowers they produce in the spring, followed by that magnificent fruit that's very good for you, if you can get some, because usually the birds get it first, and then fabulous fall color. So you can see the importance of each plant that you select in your garden and the power that it can have. We also have our retail space, which is very important for us because we can help to support the organization. We're constantly restocking, including new fresh plant material. The retail space is filled with a wide assortment of items that our buyer, Martha, picks up all sorts of things like seeds and bulbs and books all sorts of fun items you know things that you might want to get or have to get for your home and or garden and then back by popular demand of course is our honey the honey bar features over 30 different selections of honey from local growers unpasteurized honey everything from raw to creamed uh, to just pure honey and what people are often asking is well what is the difference well we can help you with that as well because we at our honey bar you can actually sample a variety of the different honeys including the Toronto Botanical Garden Honey, which personally I think is one of the best that's out there. So you'll easily be able to sample and get all sorts of information of what the difference between honey is and what you can do in your garden to help to su support bees. Furthermore, we've got things in our booth such as uh, pollinator friendly plant material, native seeds. We're often encouraged to eat local or buy local. What about reading local? And there's a lot of great books by local authors. New uh, revised copy by Lorraine Johnson and one of my favorite new editions is this book by Emma Biggs. Do you know she's only 12 years old? Really a great book, uh, not only for children but for gardeners of all ages. Once again, other plant material, we, we visit local small growers and select material. Beautiful variegated orchids, succulents always popular, hellebores, single flowers to support the bees. And then just two other products to highlight from our booth that we're excited about this year. And again, it's about those eco choices. We've got these wonderful Canadian made dryer balls. And what these do is they actually reduce the amount of time that you have the clothing in the dryer to help save energy. Um, so that's really important. And then we've got these Abigo food wraps. What these will allow you to do is wrap your perishable food and it lasts much longer. It helps to reduce the amount of plastic that goes into landfill. So as always, the Toronto Botanical Garden, we welcome you to Canada Blooms. We welcome you to our retail shop. We look forward to sharing with you our enthusiasm about the power of gardening.